the pine phone i made the first video because well my first video on the pine phone was just kind of like a discovery video i was like wow this is way better than i thought it would be and then as i go deeper and deeper it's on leak two now and i'm even more fascinated just more pumped and psyched about this phone i don't care anything about my android or my apple phones those are garbage yesterday's news i don't care now my main comment I got was, can it receive phone calls and texts? And it really depends on your carrier. This is a universal phone, completely unlocked. Yeah, if you're in Europe or, or an other country other than the United States, you're probably going to have a little easier time. But there's a lot of band restrictions here. So it just depends. So I have AT&T myself. I have a partially working text message with it. Uh, but it's something that I am working on. And also the, the team behind this is working on because this is a development model. Having said that, this will be working on, I, ha I have actually been contacted by Pine64 and they said this will be working. Uh, it's something they're actively trying to get going, but as a development model, I knew this stuff was a little dicey, but I will go ahead and get another carrier SIM card and try this out and get this working, hopefully in next week's video. So with that said, what's this video about? And really it's to showcase the power of a computer that is also a phone. So. Uh, what do I mean by that? A lot of people say, well, my Android phone or my Apple phone is like a computer. And really, it's not. It's a, it's a mobile phone. It's in a closed ecosystem. There's not much you can do. So I want to showcase installing Firefox on this thing and then using a Firefox extension. And uh, that extension, let's, let's just throw Adblock on it. Because guess what? No one likes ads. That's one of the extensions I think pretty much everybody runs. Oh, hopefully you didn't run it on my videos, but... It is YouTube. I get it. I ain't mad at you. Uh, either way, that's what I want to do because that's one thing when you're browsing a mobile phone, it kind of sucks when you're you're on a browser and it's just all of a sudden you get ads infiltrating that small screen or you got top and bottom. It just stinks. So with that, let's go ahead and do these desktop apps. And uh, I'm going to do a special bonus here after this. Because I got to thinking of other desktop apps or applications for this phone. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have a little fun with it. Because there's so many different ones I can install. And uh, this one I thought would kind of be a fun one for some of the youngsters out there. Maybe even some older folks like myself. Um, I think it, it'll be a good one. So stay tuned for that after I show you Firefox with Adblock working on a mobile phone. All right, so we have quite a bit going on in this phone. I've installed a bunch of different apps, as you see here. Um, but for this video, obviously, we're more focused on Firefox ESR. That's the extended support version. Uh, it runs a little bit better than probably your full-blown Firefox, just because of how heavy the normal version is. So we're going to click that. This is going to come up. And from here, we can actually browse the web. I've done some slight modifications from the factory settings as uh, it's kind of buggy out of the box. But as you see, it's very smooth, uh, not not much actual lag time or anything, which this is a very small underpowered phone at 150 bucks. So uh, let's go ahead and hit Reddit. And uh, let's see what Reddit looks like on here. All right, here we go. There's Reddit trending today. Uh, as you see, it does do some auto sizing and things. It does take a little bit to go ahead and actually pull up some of the pictures on here but it will go ahead and grab it pretty much everything all right and as you see i've already kind of taken out most of the ads on this page so now it's still kind of spooling everything up it takes a little bit to load like the really heavy pages like reddit or youtube it'll take a little while as they're still working on some of the hardware acceleration here and let's go open up a new tab. I'm just going to hit the plus sign. We're going to close Reddit out. But let's grab, I could pull up YouTube and those types of things. I wanted to show kind of the heavy sites, but uh, Wikipedia, I think, has some ads as well. But it'll be very, very clean experience as far as what you see. Uh, simple Google searches. Let's go ahead and go back. And uh, let's search the web, do a simple Google search here. We'll put Pine Phone. And here we go. And uh, as you see, it's a little bit uh, large because this is the actual desktop experience. Uh, pinch to zoom does work. As you see, it kind of 
zoomed in a little bit, but you can actually zoom. You can see the percent sign as I do it. Still a little laggy, but you can fine tune this to your needs. So if you'd like click on the little zoom, uh, you can actually configure how far zoomed in or zoomed out you'd like. And 60% is pretty decent for portrait mode, but I, I would probably do this in landscape. So let's go ahead and switch to landscape. If we're doing a full browser read, I'd probably recommend that way. Landscape mode's pretty good. Um, got a little title bar there, so. But if you're reading something, it's not too shabby. But let's go ahead and uh, back out of this. We're gonna go add block or Firefox. And we got a couple ones. Ublock Origins, usually the one I like the most. So let's take a peek. Here's Adblock Plus uh, that's currently installed. Let's go ahead and remove this extension. And that's already been removed. It happened pretty quick. And what I probably want to do is try and find uBlock just to see if it's on Firefox here. uBlock Origin. This is a recommended one. It's probably one of the best ad blocks out there. We'll go ahead add it to Firefox. It makes it a little bit uh, more efficient as well as the traditional ad blockers will uh, have issues. So if we look here, it requires permission, we'll just say add. And then it says uBlock Origin has been added to Firefox, okay. And that's it. So this is pretty much the full version, like you can sign in and other stuff. Uh, let's see if that pancake, but with that, we'll just go home for now. And we're back to our, just kind of our home screen to browse around. Um, a good example of this, let's go ahead and hit YouTube up. Let's see what it does. You, YouTube's been acting kind of funky with a lot of ad blockers and things lately. So I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like on uh, mobile. And we'll go ahead and just do a search. Let's, uh, let's type Linux. All right, there's a current LTT video covering Linux. I'm always happy to see that. Linux TV. Oh, man. DT had a new new video. Look at that. There's Look at that handsome devil. Let's click him. See what this looks like. And then we'll go full screen and see if we can't do a, a full screen uh, view of this video. So there we go. YouTube has gone full screen. Um, looks pretty good. Still a little laggy, still some room for improvement. So for a development model, the fact we can even just pull up Firefox, do that is amazing to me. This is a brand first gen developer only phone. So the fact that that is working is just really impressive. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do something crazy here. Now, I told you I was gonna stay out of terminal and really I wanna go ahead and switch over to something even better than this. Let's go ahead and launch a Minecraft server directly on here. Let's say you go over to a friend's house, you have your Pine phone in there. Uh, let's go ahead, pull that up, and uh, just run Minecraft, shall we? All right, it just finished loading the world. As you notice, a little can't keep up, server overloaded. This will probably happen just because of how low power this phone is, but, I did do a modification server property, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead, jump over to the desktop. And from the desktop, I'm gonna just leave the phone in the little camera here, so you can kind of just see what happens when I join World. And we'll go ahead and kill myself when I do as well, because that's just fun to do as a server op. So, from, uh, from here, let's go ahead, launch into our Minecraft, and join this server. We'll go down to multiplayer, proceed, and we're going to go ahead and just add server. And we'll say Pine Phone for the server name, or just Pine. And here is the static IP of this, or the actual IP that the phone is currently on. So 69.206. We'll hit done. See what we get. Pine Phone server. There it is. We'll say play, load in. All right, so here we are. I have this, and if I go over to my phone, I can actually, let's say I want to kill myself. So we'll go kill. And we'll just hit enter. Oh no, 
<laughs> I wanted to do that all on the phone. I could SSH in and do, do it all on the computer here, but I kind of wanted to show the power of just running it directly on my phone. It's completely untethered. It's not even plugged in right now. Um, let's see how it does on block destroy. Look at that. Picked it right up. Pick that right up. We got a zombie over there. That's probably not good. Um, build a house. Let's see what we got. Oh, no. I only have two blocks. That's that's not enough to build a house. But uh, we'll go ahead and punch some wood. <laughs> but as you see, I'm able to actually fight this guy without too much problems. Oh, well, I got two of them now. But... There's not that much lag for it being on just like this crappy old phone. I can actually hit these guys without really messing things up. But I could actually go over to a friend's house and load up my Pine Phone Minecraft server, run away, and we could play Minecraft, an entire world of Minecraft. Now, albeit probably not a large world of Minecraft as uh, that's it, but the view distance at being about five or so is actually not too bad, not too shabby. Like, you can do quite a bit on this, and it plays pretty darn well. I mean, let me go ahead and pull up some of the, the actual settings here so you can kind of see what's going on. And you'll notice, let's see if we got any lag or anything. I've had nothing since the kill command as far as server can't keep up, so... Uh, overall, this looks pretty darn good. So with that, let's go ahead and quit out. I'm going to disconnect. But I kind of want to just have something fun, something to show you guys that would be good. So here's a Minecraft server running on the Pine phone that I connected to through my Wi-Fi. Uh, worked pretty awesome. And that's it. That's week two of the Pine phone. Been messing around with this. Uh, I do have a special thing. I did talk to Purism, which makes the Librem 5. It's basically a souped up, more powerful version of the Pine Phone. Uh, very open source, dual band, has a lot of new features. Like this is only capable of, I think, uh, 2.4 gigahertz bands, where the that phone will be 5 gigahertz, which is uh, AC and A uh, bands on the, the actual wireless. It'll also have dual SIM card capabilities, so you can actually do more networks. So I'm really curious to get my hands on a Librem 5 as eesh, I would just love that as well, but for today, this is the Pine phone, but the, the Librem 5 is coming out, and if there is any other Lynx phone on the market, I'm going to go out and buy it, just because this is just like energized, it like took two things I absolutely love. I love Linux, I love Linux desktop, and then also kind of, I, I always wanted more of a mobile system and a mobile computer that didn't just suck, and uh Having that in a mobile phone, I think, is just super powerful, uh, as you kind of see some of my applications in this video. And I'm going to just keep doing like a weekly video over the Linux phone, because uh, whether it's the Pine phone or the Librem 5, I'm just going to be doing all of them. And if there's another manufacturer out there that pops in the game, I'll immediately pre-order, because this is the future, in my opinion. I just absolutely love this. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. As always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.